Imagine for a moment that you are not simply walking through the world, but are an intricate note in an eternal symphony. This symphony playing across dimensions of time and space connects every living thing, every thought, every idea. Welcome to the world of morphic resonance, a revolutionary concept introduced by the maverick biologist Dr. Rupert Sheldrake, whose work challenges the boundaries of modern science. Today, I invite you to embark on a journey, not just a philosophical exploration, but a transformation of how you perceive reality itself. By the end, you might see the world and your place within it through an entirely new lens. Rupert Sheldrake, an English biologist and philosopher, shook the scientific world with his concept of morphic resonance. Unlike traditional views that regard reality as a series of isolated events and objects, Sheldrake proposed that all systems, biological, social, or even mental, are connected through invisible fields of influence. These fields, which he called morphic fields, are like cosmic blueprints. They store patterns of behavior, habits, and knowledge, which can be accessed by individuals or groups across time and space. Think of them as universal memory banks where every experience leaves an imprint, shaping the future in profound ways. But let's pause for a moment. This isn't just theoretical jargon. What Sheldrake proposed is far more intimate, far more transformative than that. If morphic fields truly exist, then your thoughts, beliefs, and actions don't end with you. They ripple outward, influencing not just your immediate surroundings, but the entire web of life. Sheldrake's groundbreaking studies began with a simple yet profound observation. Nature exhibits memory. Crystals grow faster when they learn from previous formations. Rats solve mazes more quickly when other rats have already figured them out. Even human learning appears to accelerate when large groups focus on the same task. Here's where it gets fascinating. Sheldrake posited that these phenomena occur because of morphic resonance. When a pattern is repeated, it strengthens the corresponding morphic field, making it easier for others to access and replicate. Let's break this down with an example. Suppose you're learning to play the piano. Every note you struggle with isn't just a personal battle. It contributes to a morphic field of piano playing knowledge. When someone else sits at a piano on the other side of the world, your efforts make it marginally easier for them to master the same skill. It's as though the universe keeps an ongoing record of all accomplishments, large and small, which then become part of a shared repertoire for all of humanity. Now, let's step into the heart of the matter, your role in the grand tapestry of existence. If Rupert Sheldrake's concept of morphic resonance holds true, then you are far more than a passive spectator of life's unfolding drama. You are, in fact, a co-creator an essential player in shaping the narrative of reality itself. Every thought you harbor, every action you take, every vision you dare to pursue, it all ripples outward, leaving its mark on the morphic field. Positive thoughts and creative innovations generate fields of possibility, like seeds sown in fertile soil. These fields don't just benefit you, they resonate outward, influencing others who are attuned to similar frequencies. But here's the twist. The same principle applies to fear, doubt, and negativity. These two create and reinforce morphic fields, building barriers that hold back potential and perpetuate cycles of limitation. The power Sheldrake speaks of lies not in altering external circumstances, but in consciously tuning into the fields that align with your highest aspirations. By choosing thoughts and actions rooted in growth, compassion, and courage, you sculpt a reality that uplifts not only your own life, but also the collective experience of humanity. Let's explore another fascinating aspect of morphic resonance, habit formation. According to Sheldrake, habits aren't just personal quirks or societal norms, they're embedded in morphic fields. When a behavior is repeated, whether it's a bird learning a migration pattern or a human developing a daily routine, it strengthens the field associated with that habit. Over time, this makes the behavior more automatic and widespread. But here's the kicker. Habits aren't set in stone. They can be changed, 
disrupted, or replaced. The key lies in conscious awareness. Imagine you've developed a habit of procrastination. Every time you delay a task, you reinforce the procrastination field. But when you choose to act decisively, even once, you weaken that field and strengthen a new one, perhaps a field of productivity or discipline. This dynamic interplay means that every choice you make isn't just about the present moment. It's a vote for the kind of reality you wish to create, not only for yourself, but for others who share the same morphic field. Now let's dive deeper into the practical side of this. How do you tune into the morphic fields that align with your highest aspirations? Imagine standing before an infinite array of radio channels, each broadcasting a different reality. Some resonate with scarcity, fear, and doubt, while others vibrate with abundance, courage, and boundless possibility. The question is, which channel are you tuned into right now? The answer lies in the frequency of your thoughts, emotions, and intentions. The first step to tuning into the right frequencies is cultivating awareness. This means pausing to recognize the patterns you're currently aligned with. Are your thoughts dominated by worry and self-doubt, keeping you tethered to limiting realities? Or are they guided by gratitude, hope, and a sense of purpose? Awareness acts as a compass, revealing where your energy is flowing and offering the power to redirect it toward higher possibilities. Next comes the transformative practice of intention setting. Think of your intentions as the tuning fork of your life. When you set a clear intention, whether it's for personal growth, career success, or deeper connections, you send a focused signal into the morphic field. This signal strengthens the resonance of the desired frequency, attracting the patterns and opportunities that align with your vision. It's not about wishful thinking, it's about deliberate alignment with the energy you want to manifest. But here's the beauty of the morphic field. You're not navigating it alone. Collective energy has immense power to amplify your frequency. When you join forces with like-minded individuals, through supportive communities, shared rituals, or movements focused on common goals, you tap into a larger reservoir of energy. This collective resonance makes it easier to stay aligned with higher frequencies, reinforcing positive fields, not just for yourself, but for everyone involved. By becoming mindful of your focus, setting clear intentions, and leveraging the power of collective energy, you can consciously tune into the frequencies that align with your highest aspirations. It's a practice, a journey, and ultimately, a way of life. Sheldrake's morphic resonance might sound like a bold departure from traditional science, but its underlying principles resonate strikingly with the mysteries of quantum physics. Both frameworks invite us to reimagine reality, not as a rigid, material construct, but as an ever-shifting dance of energy, information, and boundless potential. In quantum mechanics, particles don't occupy a fixed state until observed. Instead, they exist in a cloud of probabilities, a wave of potential outcomes. Similarly, morphic fields suggest that all habits, ideas, and innovations exist in a latent state, waiting for the right moment or the right mind to bring them into being. The link between these two realms is consciousness. In quantum physics, the act of observation collapses a wave function, transforming potential into reality. In the realm of morphic fields, your conscious choices act as the bridge between possibility and manifestation. When you focus your attention, you're not merely observing reality, you're shaping it. This connection places immense power in your hands. By aligning your consciousness with the outcomes you wish to see, you collapse the infinite potential of the morphic field into tangible realities. In essence, you become both the observer and the creator of your life's quantum symphony. Pause for a moment and reflect. Every choice you make, no matter how small, sends ripples through the unseen fabric of the morphic field. A kind gesture, a burst of creativity or a single act of courage leaves an energetic imprint, shaping not only your life but also paving the way for others. When you take a brave step forward, it's as if you're carving a new path through the wilderness of possibility, making it easier for someone else to tread the same ground. 
This means you're not merely living a solitary existence, you're a participant in the co-creation of a collective reality. The thoughts you cultivate, the actions you take, and the emotions you embody all contribute to the resonance of the morphic field. The joy, love, or creativity you express strengthens these positive frequencies, making them more accessible to others. This understanding can feel humbling, even a little overwhelming. It reveals the profound interconnectedness of life and underscores how your personal growth doesn't just elevate you, it uplifts humanity as a whole. Yet, the beauty of this perspective is accompanied by a challenge. Sheldrake's ideas about morphic resonance haven't been universally embraced. Many scientists dismiss his work as speculative or lacking in empirical evidence. But perhaps this controversy is part of what makes Sheldrake's vision so vital. By daring to step outside the bounds of conventional materialism, he invites us to explore a richer, more expansive understanding of reality, one that transcends physical measurements and embraces intuition, creativity, and the subtle forces that bind us all. Whether you agree with Sheldrake's ideas or not, his work serves as a powerful reminder. Your choices, however small, matter. They ripple through the web of existence, shaping a reality where possibilities are not only imagined, but also realized. As we bring this journey to a close, I leave you with a simple yet profound question. What kind of symphony are you creating? Each thought, each action, and each moment of awareness adds a note to the universal melody. You are both the composer and the audience, shaping and experiencing the music of existence. Rupert Sheldrake's work reminds us that we're not isolated beings wandering through a chaotic universe. We are threads in a cosmic tapestry, resonating with the past, shaping the present, and co-creating the future. So, tune in. The symphony is already playing. All that's left is for you to find your note and let it ring. <laughs>